Hi there, my name is Vadim Mikhalenka, and in this quick video we're going to focus on the top 40 Microsoft Visio keyboard shortcuts. Coming up on online training for everyone. In this video we're going to look at Microsoft Visio shortcuts that are going to make you very productive. I'll start with my favorite shortcut that helps me align shapes. As you can see in e-commerce shopping cart, some of the shapes are misaligned. So what you need to do, you need to select all the shapes and press F8 button. That brings align shape dialog box. And in my case, I'm going to align them horizontal alignment in the center. My other favorite shortcut is control S which helps me save the document, which is just an equivalent of clicking the Save button here. In Visio, you need to constantly change between Pointer tool, Connector tool, and Text tool. And you can do it by pressing Control-1 to select the Pointer tool. And this way you can move the objects or resize them as needed. Uh, you can use Control-2 to select the Text tool and make the changes to the text. and click Escape to leave the text editing option. And you can use Control-3 to switch to the connector tool, and this way you can connect objects. Next, let's look at the set of shortcuts to help you manipulate the objects. For example, to move the object, you need to select the object and use arrow keys. You can move it up, you can move it right, you can move it left, you can move it down. If you need more precise movements, you need to sh use Shift arrow. Shift arrow allows you to move objects in the smaller increments. Control L helps you rotate shape to the left. Control R helps you rotate shape to the right. Control G allows you to group objects so you can move them as one single object. To do that, you need to select all the objects that you're trying to group and press Control G. then you move them as a single entity. To ungroup the objects, you need to press Control shift u Oftentimes, he works with multiple objects, and they are laying on top of each other. To move objects back and forth, you can use Control shift f to bring object to the front, and Control shift b to bring object to the back. Oftentimes, you need to draw different shapes in Visio. There are different keyboard shortcuts to help you switch between the drawing tools. You can use Control 4 to select Pencil tool, Control 5 to select Freeform tool, which allows you to maybe draw a cloud if you're working on an architecture diagram. Control 6 allows you to select the Line tool, which allows you to draw a straight line. Control 8 allows you to select rectangular tool, so you can draw rectangle boxes and you can start typing text right away. Control 9 allows you to select ellipse tool, so you can draw ellipse shapes. One of my favorite shortcuts is Control Shift P, which allows you to activate Format Painter. Format Painter is helpful when you need to copy attributes from one object to another. And these attributes include color of the object, format of the text, and a lot of different things. To do that, you need to select the object, then press Control shift p This activates Format Painter, and then apply it to a different object, which mimics the attributes of the original object. You can always use Control z to undo the last operation if it's possible. You can also use Control a to select all objects in the diagram. This allows you to move them very effectively as one single object. You can also use Control c 
Control C to copy an object and then Control V to paste exactly the same object and then make modifications as needed. You can also copy and paste groups of objects. You need to select them first, press Control C and then Control V. Now let's look at the keyboard shortcuts that help you work with the shape's text. For example, you can select the shape and use Control U to underline text. And you can undo it with Control Z. You can also use Control B to make text bold or normal. And Control I to make it italic. You can also combine underline, bold, and italic. You can also use Control Shift A to make all text caps. You can use Control Shift less sign to make text smaller, or you can use Control Shift greater sign to make text larger. Sometimes you need to insert the picture, and my secret shortcut is Control Shift 2, which allows you to crop the picture. To insert online picture, we can click Insert Online Picture, type Server, find the server image we are looking for, Click Insert, and now we can use Control Shift 2 and crop it and remove all unnecessary items. For example, we don't like shade, and this allows me to remove it. Once you're done, you need to hit Enter or hit Outside, and the shade disappeared. If you like the content, please make sure to click the Like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.